What's good, YouTube? I am Mocha Stay Hot. Thank you so much for checking out this video. As you can see by the title, I am here to show and share my faux dreaded hair with you. And I do not want to waste any time, of course. So let's do work. So after my last short wig, I knew that I wanted a braided protective style and I opted for the faux goddess locks once again. This is my second time doing these locks. So this time I did opt for a different brand of hair as well as a slightly different method in concealing my hair to see if that would make a difference. This time I picked up the Urban Beauty brand hair and I do have the goddess faux locks in 12 inches and I have them in the color 1B and 30. This is what the packaging looks like this green hottie so hot I did pick up five packs of this hair which was a beautiful mistake and I will tell you why but I did pick up five packs of this hair from my local beauty supply store and I did pay six dollars and ninety nine cent per pack now I picked them up from my beauty supply store because I didn't want to wait for shipping I wanted to do my hair immediately so I went ahead and went to the beauty supply store to grab them now the mistake in purchasing five packs was that in most of the times when you buy faux locks, you get about 12, maybe 14 locks per package. However, with this hair, you get 20 locks per pack, 20. Now, I do have a total of 54 individual faux locks on my hair. So if you do the math, that is a total of two and a half packs that I used to create this style. So I essentially have enough hair left over to recreate this hairstyle all over again. And I'm really excited about that. Now the packaging on this hair does say that it's super feather lightweight right there and it truly truly is lightweight this hair is really really soft whenever the wind blows it blows in the wind as if it's a nice weave or something so i can really really dig that and it's really light on my hair it feels so natural this is what the hair looks like outside of the packaging individually really really pretty i love the way they ombre these colors together so super gorgeous here is how the hair is set up on the packaging. Each one of these is 10 locks each. So that is your, your 20 locks in your packaging. Again, I do have them in 12 inches. So this is how long they are on me. And I think that's perfect. And I think that looks really, really natural. A couple of things that I do to make these dreads look natural is that number one, I did part them in triangles versus parting them in squares. And I wanted triangles so that it wouldn't look really uniform. I wanted it to look like random and natural. So I opted for triangles when I parted my hair instead of uh, little boxes or something like that. Another thing I do to this hair is I don't lay my edges. And I say that because most or all of the real dread heads that I know do not lay their edges down. I don't know why I've never asked and maybe I should, but because they don't lay their edges down, I didn't want to lay mine down either. Again, to try to make it look as natural as possible. This is what the locks look like up close. And I wanted the individual locks so that I could part them wherever I wanted to part them and put them in a ponytail, wear half up, half down, whatever I decided to do. I wanted that option. And I can do all of that and some. I had someone staring at me so hard the other day and they said they thought my dreads were real and I need to go ahead and get my hair dreaded up because it looks really nice on me. So, and that was a real dread head. To get that compliment was like a mission accomplished check mark. I'm like, if you, if that's coming from a real dread head, then that means a lot to me if they thought that this was really my hair. So yes, I definitely felt like this was share worthy. Let me show you how these, what they look like all around my head. This is my left. And the back. Again, this is how long they are on me. And my right. Now, so far, I do like the method of concealing my hair that I used this time because I have not had to put my hair back inside of these locks so far since I've done this style. I've had my hair done like this for almost two weeks now, and this is what it's looking like. The older it's getting, 
the more I'm loving it. I do tie it down every night, but it still looks like I don't. So, but that's okay. Because again, I think it looks really, really natural and I dig it. All right, Heidi's, I am going to get out of here. I just thought this hair was share worthy, so I wanted to share. If you dig this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with your family and your friends. And if you are not a member of this Heidi Hive, please do subscribe to my channel because I would love it if you were. I really hope that each and every one of you is having an amazing day on purpose, and I'll be back to chat with you really soon in my next upload. Ciao.